Welcome back. This is code poses round 900 div 3. We are going to solve the fourth problem that is reverse madness. As they say in the title, the question is complete madness. So let's see what the problem states. So the problem is like they are telling that you are given a string S. Let's assume this is the string S. And uh, I just wrote it with the one based indexing and length I took it as n equal to 12. These are all lowercase Latin letters. Next, you will be given a positive integer k and two arrays L and R of length k. That means what? This is L and this is R and k value is here and this is an array. Okay. So let's say the k value is like three. I can write like uh, first thing what? L1 equal to one. So I kept the first index as one. Rk equal to n. These are things that they already give in the question. So if it is length of the r value and l value is 3 means r of 3 is what? It is n. What is n? It is 12. So I am keeping 12 here and l is 1 here. L should be less than or equal to r. Let's say some value that is greater than this that is let's say 6. Now li equal to ri minus 1 plus 1 that is for any number here for not equal to 0 for the second number onwards uh, if I want to pass park any number, I need to say 6 plus 1. What is that? 7. That is 6 plus 1 is 7. Now, if I want to put any number, I need to put a number that is greater than this. Now, this number will be what? This will be 9 plus 1. That is 10. Okay. So, I hope you understood. Uh, this is, they will give the question. They are just telling the condition. So, it is a continuous number, right? 1, to 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So, in this case, 1 and 12 are fixed and 6 uh, a number greater than the l value we wrote then the next l value will be the previous r value plus 1 so we already got it now they are telling you you are given a positive integer q which represents the number of modifications you need to do on s okay so we are given a q value let's say there are we have two queries uh, find an index i such that i l less than or equal to x less than or equal to r let a equal to minimum of this and maximum of this reverse the substring of s from index a to b uh, what does that mean is like we have two numbers here let's say uh, what if uh, x value is something like 2 if we take x value of 2 you need to put this 2 in this lr array such that a 2 is between two numbers so we can't have two index right suppose 1 and 6 is here 2 is between 1 and 6 so l is 1 r is 6 and 2 will be somewhere here so this is a qualified uh, numbers for this i this is first index second index third index for first index 2 came is it possible to put 7 9 10 12 not possible right so for every x there will be only one li ra such that the condition is satisfied now what did they say after you put the index you just uh, write it down so that it will be easier so from first index to sixth index means this index to f index from the f string you take a two value x value is six what did they say take minimum of x comma ri plus li minus x ri is how much here six minus li that is one uh, sorry this is plus right yeah six r plus li that is six plus one minus x so this is minus x means how much this is two so i got x value as two and uh, this is r plus l ra plus li minus uh, 2 this is 6 plus 1 minus x so we got 2 comma 6 plus 1 is 7 7 minus 2 is how much 5 so this 2 to 5 uh, string i need to reverse it that is what b to e gets reversed so it will be e d c p now let's say x equal to something like 1 if it is x equal to 1 what happens uh, I take that x equal to 1, ra plus li, how much 6 plus 1, minus 1, x is 1, right? So what will you get? 1, 1 gets cancelled, it is 6. So from 1 to 6, I need to reverse it. See, so 1 to 6 means I already reversed this. Now, what is the new array? A, E, D, C, B, E, uh, sorry, B, F, right? So I need to reverse, from 2 to 5, I already reversed. I need to reverse from 1 to 6 again. So 1 to 6 means what? it will be uh, f e uh, sorry uh, how much it will be if i reverse it it will be f b c d e a so this is the final string so with x equal to 2 i reversed the first uh, this characters 
and for f equal for x equal to 1 i reversed these characters because i got the lower limit and upper limit because uh, see this minimum and maximum and this is maximum and minimum means at least one of them will be minimum and one of them will be maximum out of these two numbers if both only thing where there is contradiction is if both numbers are same if both numbers are same no problem so they are just telling that take the lowest value and take the highest value so let's understand this with the help of example that they gave in the question so it might be a bit more clearer so what did they say n value is 4 and uh, what is this value uh, this value is the number of queries for l and r so that is k value k value is 2 string value is a b c d and uh, L R so as they said in the question this will always be 1 and uh, 2 index will be that this will be 4 so n value right so this will be what this will be 4 here now if this is 2 2 plus 1 is 3 that's how they got this now if they want to put the first x value these are q queries are here now x value came this is 1 if 1 came here 1 is belonging to this uh, segment right for i equal to 1 these are the index 1 and 2 so it is belonging to here so what is the minimum and maximum x equal to 1 and ri plus li minus 1 so r is what 2 plus 1 minus 1 2 so from 1 to 2 i need to reverse a and b i need to reverse it will be b and a b a c d now for uh, x equal to 3 if x equal to 3 comes 3 will go here 3 less than or equal to 3 less than or equal to 4 x equal to 3 here now 4 plus 3 minus 1 that is 4 plus 2 is 6 no that is i think i did something wrong 4 plus 3 yeah this is 3 right yeah 3 plus 3 goes and 4 3 minus 3 is 0 and this is 4 3 to 4 is the value now this 3 to 4 from the result i need to reverse it again so the answer is batc so let's quickly uh, check the answer the answer is uh, batc so i hope the problem is clear they will give you a string they will give you k value k value is the length of l and r and we once they give the x we need to say that x belongs to which index position of l and r and from that index position you need to find uh, the minimum and maximum where that l r satisfies take that string that is x and r plus l minus 1 using that formula get the minimum and the maximum range apply that to the original string and uh, reverse that value then keep doing it for all x's and report it so if we do it uh, in this brute force way the time limit uh, will definitely get exceeded so you have to find for all the numbers whoever is responsible here then you need to reverse it so probably the best thing that we can do is uh, we have to since these are all sorted right these are sorted so you think that okay let's do binary search lower bound upper bound and uh, go to the corresponding element and try to reverse it so that is one way but uh, this let's try to find some other way other any other elements exist or not something like this so let's do go to this one okay what is this a b c d e f g h right so let's try to map this one uh, so let's say it is here okay now this is the value and uh, I have to map the numbers here that is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 uh, so this is uh, 9 10 11 12 okay so let's see that for uh, x equal to 1 we already know it right for x equal to 1 so for 1 to 6 we got 1 to 6 x equal to 1 what happened is we took all the numbers so for x equal to 1 we got the minimum and maximum to be 1 to 6 range minimum and maximum to be all the numbers for x equal to 2 what happens it is 2 to 5 right x equal to 1 is 1 to 6 by applying the formula this is 2 to 5 right and x equal to 3 what happens if you apply it you will know that it is 3 to 4 so there are a couple of things we can mark here what happens is here whatever value you take and if that x is belonging to one particular index then we can definitely say that this 7 9 is unaffected by this this 10 12 is unaffected by this so from 7 to 12 the if the x value is belonging to 1 to 6 we can say that it is not affected by this at all it's a separate string separate test case we can think like that now only this value is changing if 2 comes 3 comes 4 comes only these values will keep changing but first thing is all these things right all the if it's belonging to separate index separate index range then this does not get affected by the any other things so that is one observation what is the second observation that we noticed is so uh, 
we already know that for each of the number what happens is it is just trying to compress or expand right for x equal to 1 it is taking all the numbers x equal to 2 it just left one number for x equal to 3 it left two numbers if you noticed this is the pattern what is the third thing that we observed if i am putting x equal to 1 and again if i am reversing x equal to 1 what happens a b c d e f uh, is the number if I'm putting x equal to 1 this gets reversed right f e d c b a then again if I put x equal to 1 this entire string will get reversed again a b c d e f so I don't have to reverse it if I put x equal to 1 again and again I don't have to reverse it each time if there are even number of queries with the same count I can just say that it is at the same state I don't have to change it again but if there are odd number of numbers if x equal to 1 is coming three times I need to say that it, this value changes f so for first one it uh, reverses second one it goes back to original state and third one it reverses so what are the three observations we made we made that whatever index we are putting it is not affecting the corresponding nearby indices for l and r it is only uh, affecting only l and r l i and r i where x is belonging second thing what did we do from it is following a symmetric property right it is not like randomly C, D, F is getting, E, D, F is reversed like that or B, C, D is getting reversed for three numbers. It is directly taking uh, a symmetric value from the middle element it is expanding or from the last element it is contracting based on that. What is one more thing that we did? If there are duplicate numbers then everything is sorted or everything is unsorted something like that we got. So we are trying to just combine these dots together. So tell me one thing. So does the order of the x values matter? If q equal to x equal to 2 also, I can process x equal to 1 of so process. Is it possible? Can I process first x equal to 1 and x equal to 2? It is possible, right? So suppose if a, b, c, d is here, let's assume that uh, this 2 is this, c, b, a, d, right? Uh, this is c, b, a, d. If I reverse it, what happens? This is a, uh, this is d, b, c, a. For x equal to 1, what happens? This is d, uh, then this is d c b a then again if i'm putting x equal to 2 it is d b c a see both of them is having the same value right so the order of this also does not matter so what is one thing that i can do is it is like a range so if i want to perform the range means can i pre-compute the values so whenever i'm telling the index can i directly go ahead and swap it that is my question so let's see how to uh, go ahead and solve this problem. We know that it is symmetrical. We know that if even number of count comes, uh, the va values won't be sorted. Even number of count comes, it will be at the original state. It will, uh, it will be at the original state. If odd number of X same values come, it will be in the reverse order. Now, uh, so we, we got all of these numbers, right? A, B, C, D, E, F, everything is there. What is the first thing that we are trying to figure out is, uh, if you observe a to f if i am swapping x equal to 1 if i am swapping here this is an odd number so uh, i am just telling that okay a is here and f is here you know uh, i'll just take for one element if one comes definitely 6 also is a part right n minus x plus 1 definitely 6 also is a part r plus l minus 1 6 also is a part so if this guy comes then i can definitely say that if these are parents all the children's also will get swapped right if B, C, D, everything will get swapped. How, how do I know that? Because I'm just pushing this one here. If this is the prefix, I'm just pushing it here. This also becomes 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. So uh, if I'm computing it, there is only x equal to 1. I'm just checking if uh, the index is, if the value is 1 in the prefix, I just swap all of this. But tomorrow, like x equal to 2 comes. If x equal to 2 comes, what happens is this B, this takes that, okay, my parent already had made me swapped. Now someone have asked me to swap again. So what happens? This guy will increment its value. So 2, 2, 2, 2. All its children also should get swapped, right? B and D are the perfect people. But since uh, he, B understands that A is swapped, so I also should get swapped. Then again, someone is asking me to swap. So if two of the people are swapping, then I will be at the original position only. I won't swap it again. So since this guy is following, all the children also will follow the same. Now let's say that x equal to 3. What happens? C will be incremented by 3. If C is incremented, D also will be incremented because R plus N minus X. So what happens here? C understands that my parents, uh, like I'm just using the terms, okay? Just A and B is uh, 
getting swapped and B made sure I am coming back to the original position. Then someone else is asking me to swap again. So C and D get swapped. That's all. Now, what if it's the reverse value? Let's say X equal to 2 comes first. X equal to 2 and X equal to 1 is here. And A, B, C, D, E, F is here. X equal to 2 means what? It is B till E. I need to reverse everything. That is E, uh, D, C, D. Now, this is A and F. X equal to 3 means what? I need to reverse these two. That is C, D, B, E, A, F x equal to 1 that means i need to reverse entire thing that is a sorry this is f b d c e a so what happened here x is the first one that is odd so this and this got swapped now x equal to uh, 2 is what already 1 is here that is uh, at the odd occurrence so it became an even number so i am maintaining the same position here x equal to 3 it became an even number so even number means we need it became an odd number so odd number means from the parents it became an odd number so odd number means it is uh, getting swapped so that's all even 1 2 3 2 3 same thing only now let's understand this with the help of a code this is the same co code that is used in the editorial you can check the uh, editorial also so this is the blog entry number now what did they do here first they took all the lr values so lr they took here all these values 1 to 6 7 to 8 everything which they took now they got all k x queries x queries means what for uh, x equal to 1 they tell that uh, count of 1 is plus plus count of 1 equal to 1 or count of 2 equal to 2 something like that okay now what are they doing here is substring of a of i comma b of i minus a of i plus 1 so why are they doing it they are just uh, trying to get the range here so from 1 to 6 everything will be 0 initially so for uh, they are checking that count of 1 plus count of r minus j plus 1 that is if count of 1 is already 1 this is 1 plus 0 right 1 plus 0 is what it is an odd number so i need to swap these two numbers so they swapped 6 and 1 here i mean in the string sense okay i am just mapping the index in the original sense it's f and a now they go to the second element that is still the middle element right they go to the second element and count of two let's assume that the count of two is one like the count is one here so what do they do they take the second and the fifth index and uh, they tell what is there initially it is zero only but because of this count this count also became one here okay if since this count also became one I need to know the existing one also right sum is plus one it is prefix sum so initially sum value is one because of this I got one then sum value plus one is this became two two and five two and five it's an even number of swaps so I am not changing anything now let's go to the three and four if three and four nothing is there it is two only means no x value is it is maintained at the same position but count of three equal to one comes means we have to say that uh, 2 and again this one is also coming 3 so sum plus 1 that is 3 if 3 is an odd so we need to swap these two index similarly for all the things for 7 and 8 we iterate through all of them if there are any x values we just change it so that's all guys uh, so I hope you understood so please try out this with the pen on paper it will be very trivial and uh, that's it thank you